Hello, my name is Chris Countryman. Today we are going to talk about the evolution of the war genre. Generally, though not always, the trend goes that during times of war, the films are of the patriotic type, as to rally the nation toward wartime causes. It's in the downtime between wars when the social costs of the war are felt that Hollywood war films often provided criticism for military action. Uh, the first world film, it was a videograph tearing down the Spanish flag, was a 90-second propaganda piece made during the Spanish-American War. And it wasn't until the First World War that the, the war film became a clearly defined genre. In 1918, D.W. Griffith's Hearts of the World led a series of early propaganda films enticing Americans to further participate in the Euro European conflict. In the 1920s, Wings was released, becoming the first film to win an Academy Award for Best Picture. In the 1930s, All Quiet in the Western Front was released with a silent and sound version. The remainder of the 30s, though, showcased fewer and fewer war films until World War II. After Pearl Harbor, Hollywood filmmaking changed with notable pieces being a musical named Yankee Doodle Dandy, Destination Tokyo, Lifeboat, and The Fighting Sullivans, as well as the all-American classic Casablanca by the Warner Brothers. The 1950s saw a renewed interest in the World War II, exemplified by David Lean's The Bridge of the River Kuali. But in the 1960s, war films took a different approach. Most films in this era involved Vietnam films, which were primarily anti-war, anti-American films that showed the toll it took on soldiers, like The Deer Hunter by Michael Kilmiano, which ended up winning an Academy Award for Best Picture. In the 1980s, Hollywood continued to draw inspiration for the Vietnam era, but showed a new, new sided uh, recruitment tool and basic training for the soldier, uh, like Full Metal Jacket. Uh, it was basically everything from basic training into the first world. Even with the very few major conflicts in the 1990s, this was perhaps the war genre's greatest decade, with movies such as Schindler's List. The Pianist, Saving Private Ryan, The Thin Red Line, and ending with my favorite film, Pearl Harbor. The 2000s were uh, touching for me since I had first-hand knowledge with the war in Iraq from 2003 to 2005. Films such as The Hurt Locker, Black Hawk Down, showed the pain and suffering of those soldiers that were served in that time. Hollywood today, though, has jumped leaps and bounds and portraying to the public real-life scenarios of war with better technology and the fact that Hollywood uses trained soldiers to help actors, directors, film crews portray what really happened in war. Hello, my name is Chris Countryman. Today we are going to talk about the evolution of the war genre. Generally, though not always, the trend goes that during times of war, the films are of the patriotic.